this little tiny, very subtle disturbance, this smudge in the sand, this means that something has dug in there, and we're hoping that this is a gecko. These geckos will go down some 12 inches or so, and that's exactly what most of the animals here in the Namib do, is to get away from that sun. And if you can get down into the area of the sand where the temperature is constant, you're onto a good thing. So I'm going to retrace my steps because we know he's here somewhere. Keep trying to find that burrow because there'd be, it'd be, oh, there he is. <laughs> wow, look at that. This has got to be one of the prettiest lizards on earth. It is what we used to call a palmetto gecko or the Namib dune gecko or the web-footed gecko. It's one of the endemics to the Namib desert and it is a sand living specialist. Like a lot of ground geckos, certainly nocturnal ones, it has a very cool little party trick with which it can clean its eyeballs. He needs those eyes to be functioning at their fullest. So in this gritty, dusty environment, to be able to clean your eyeballs is kind of a handy thing to do. But they don't have any eyelids, not like you and me. So what they do is lick their eyeballs, and that's quite a cool thing to do. Now, you can't actually look at a web-footed gecko without looking at those web feet. They are extraordinary. Every single one of those feet has almost like a duck-like skin between all his digits. And with those, well, there's this idea that he uses them a little bit like snowshoes or sand shoes, and I guess it would make a difference on this very loose, sandy surface. But probably more importantly to this gecko, he uses them like little shovels with which he digs his burrow to retreat from the searing heat or the extreme cold. It's also known as a transparent gecko. That skin is so thin. At night, when the sand gets nice and damp and the, the fog condenses on it, these lizards can get their water requirements from just pressing that thin skin against that damp sand. Obviously, they get a bit with their food as well, but, um, but they can also absorb an awful lot through that thin skin. Look at that. That's got to be one of the prettiest lizards you're ever likely to see. Not big on the freak, but certainly very beautiful. <laughs>